Hi, I'm Mark, and today I'm going to talk to you about Emotional Freedom Technique, or EFT for short. Now, EFT is one of the most wonderful things that I've come across, and for pain relief it is absolutely fantastic. It has its roots in ancient Chinese medicine, but it's really only come over to the West in the last 15 or so years, and can be best likened, I guess, to acupuncture, except that where acupuncture you have to use needles and you have to have a specialist that, that, that does this for you, what we can do with EFT is actually tap on ourselves. So it's a lot easier and it's a lot more accessible. And even in the case of when you've got a lot of pain, you don't actually have to physically tap onto you. We need to work out just how much discomfort you're actually in so that we have something to measure against at a later time once we've done a few rounds of tapping. So on a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 being no pain at all and 10 being the worst pain you've ever experienced, just take a moment to consider what number you would currently be at. At the beginning we have a setup phrase and we use something called the karate chop point. So all we do is just tap on the bottom of our hand like that as if we're karate chopping our fingers. And the setup phrase gets rid of something called psychological reversal. Now psychological reversal is akin to putting the batteries in the wrong way in your remote control on your TV and therefore stops the flow of energy. So by tapping on this particular point we can reverse that. As we do that, we use a setup phrase, which will be something along the lines of, even though I have all this pain, I completely love and accept myself. And we would say that three times. Now, if the pain is in a specific part of your body and maybe has a texture or a feel, or maybe even there's a color that's associated with it, you can add that into the setup phrase. So it might be, even though I have this grey, dull pain in my shoulders, I completely love and accept myself. The more exact you can get with this, the better it will be. There's a saying within the EFT circles that be specific to be terrific. So having done the setup phrase three times, we then move on to the other tapping points. When we tap, it's important to realise that you can use either hand, it doesn't matter, and you can indeed change over halfway through. It's also worth noting that it doesn't matter if you get things wrong. We'll just tap around and we'll get the points eventually. Now when we tap, we say a shortened version of the setup phrase, and we tap for about seven times. So for example, in a case of pain, we might just say something like, all this pain. So let's look at the tapping points. The first one is on the top of your head, and I tend to use all four fingers when I'm tapping on there, and like I said, it's for about seven times. The next tapping point is the inner eyebrow, and again, seven times, and we'll be saying all this pain. The next point on the outside of the eye, and then below the eye, on the eye socket, we'll be saying all this pain. The next tapping point, below the nose and above the lip, and then we go below the lip. The next one we're going to use is called the collarbone. And if you were to look at where somebody would normally tie their tie, move down an inch and then across an inch, between the top of the breastbone and the collarbone, there is usually a soft portion there. So we just tap gently on there. Now, if you're not sure exactly where that point is, it doesn't matter. If you tap using all your hand, you will cover it. We now move to under the arm, which for ladies is normally where the bra strap is and for men is in line with their nipples. Before moving on to the thumb and fingers and we tap right on the end, just touching the fingernails. And it's probably easier if you hold your hand out at right angles like that. And say the remaining phrase, all this pain, all this pain, all this pain, all this pain. And that is the tapping process. It's as simple as that.
Now we're going to teach you the nine gamut, which brings together the artistic side of the brain with the logical side of the brain. So you've got your subconscious working with your conscious. So what we do, first of all, is we find a tapping point. So if you to use your two knuckles, as I'm showing you there, and to draw an equilateral triangle into your hand, you would tap in the middle bit of that equilateral triangle. And whilst tapping, what I want you to do is to close your eyes, now open them, now without moving your head, look hard down to the left, at my finger, hard down to the right, eyes in a circle this way, eyes in a circle that way. Now I want you to hum a tune, we normally use happy birthday, unless you've got any bad memories about happy birthday, choose a, a tune of your choice. So it's mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then we count to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we hum happy birthday again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that is the nine gamut. So once we've done the nine gamut, we just go through the tapping process again. And we keep on going and we check in just to see what level we're at in terms of discomfort until we get that down to as close as zero as we possibly can. Now so far we've used EFT at a basic level to get rid of the pain that you're experiencing. What we want to do now is try and show you how we can get rid of this pain once and for all. And the way to do that is to tap into our subconscious. Now what you might find already is that when you have been tapping, certain memories have come up that have caused you a little bit of discomfort, or maybe they're memories that you've hidden away and, and not thought about for years, if at all. What we need to do then is work on the emotions that those memories bring up in order that we can tap away the bad emotions and therefore the beliefs that they create, which then for, therefore lead to the illness. So if, for example, you got lost in a department store when you were three years old and you felt that your parents didn't love you, that's something that we would tap on. So the setup would be something along the lines of, even though I got lost in this department store when I was three years old and I feel that my parents don't love me, I completely love and accept myself. And we go through the exact same process and reduce that feeling of not feeling love until it gets down to a zero.